Today we're going to make a drink that is poolside, relaxing, sexy, pretty dry, floral at the same time. What is it? Stay tuned! Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. This is Jennifer Schomer. Again, my marriage. All week. We're going to be creating for you the Blood Moon, submitted by Oscar G, produced by Alan Joyce, right over your head, right under your head. Um, thank you, Alan. All right, to get this up front and out there, Oscar submitted a recipe. This was a while ago, so he may not even be a fan anymore because when he submitted the recipe, he's like, I've submitted tons of recipes and you haven't done any of them, so I don't really expect you to do this one either, but maybe you will, and so he it, went on and on. He, was gonna, he, he suckered us into it through guilt? Well, no, and, and chop some ice. it was actually ingredients we had. A lot of the time, A, we get a lot of recipes. We do get a lot of recipes. B, some of those recipes we get, we don't have the ingredients for. That happens more than you'd believe. Yes, and it's not always an alcohol. Sometimes it is an alcohol, and it's an alcohol we can't get. And other times it's just weird fruit juice. And even in this case, they call for a pomegranate cranberry juice, which we don't have. We don't have pomegranate so, cranberry juice, that's right. We're so going to make, make our, own? our own pomegranate cranberry juice by doing half and half. That's what I say. That, I, I, you know what? Bartender's call. So um, so anyways, that's the story with submitted recipes. Yes, we, Derek has some that are in there that are for probably from 2013. Uh, probably later. Or wait, earlier. Earlier. <laughs> so, but we do try to get them. If we have the ingredients, we will do them eventually. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> and if we don't necessarily like one over another. Like, we don't say, oh. Do you need a soapbox? Yeah, Billy Bob submitted this recipe. We love Billy Bob, so we're doing his recipe. We just go through the, and I do actually now, yeah, go through the inbox and say, gin. And I'll look for a gin recipe. And ones that I have ingredients for. All right, I'm off my soapbox. So you actually go looking for a specific Sometimes, right? because as you pointed out, when I started doing the drinks, they yeah. started to get sweeter, and they started to use like Irish cream. And I don't want all that. I want a variety of drinks. Okay. And I don't necessarily do gin, but Ian likes gin, and you don't mind gin, so I look specifically for drinks that will to widen the yeah the broaden spectrum. the spectrum. Fair enough. I, more so. than I do, I would go through and just go from the bottom up and go no, 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 no. So a lot of the early recipes, it's like I still don't have ingredients. I'm going right. if I get this, and sometimes if I get a new ingredient, like if I ever get cyanide, right? I can now go cyanide and find every cyanide yes. drink and start unlocking those. So if there isn't an ingredient we have. Don't take it as a personal insult. Take it as Derek has 900 emails, and I can't pick. I randomly I have to pick things that fit the show, or yeah. I could do. Make it. It's the Blood Moon. One ounce of rum. One ounce of gin. Half ounce of lemonade. I bought a whole thing for half ounce. Half ounce of simple syrup, which is not listed here, but I'll go find some. Um, oh, oops. We don't have should it? Should be in the fridge. Okay. Right <laughs> the should be unless we used it. Uh, a whole small medium lime. What? <laughs> Just get a freaking lime. Um, three ounces of pomegranate cranberry, like she said, and then, or depending if that is in the long form video or not, we're going to build these together. And then an ounce of ginger ale. And so I hope you guys also. Uh, here's a question I keep forgetting to ask. I'm going to ask it right now before I forget because it's been like four weeks. Are the time release times for our show good for everybody, or what are your what are your thoughts? I'm not gonna change it if one guy's like, no, I like it better at this time. But I'd like to get some generalized. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Input is a 10 a.m. launch for the short four video, and then a follow up at 5 p.m. all Eastern time launch work for you. Like I figured you could see the short one at the beginning of the day, maybe when you wake up, maybe if you're at work at lunch, <laughs> then the next one when you get home. Did you still overspill? Oh, do you know how to, hard it is to pour this into a tiny jigger? Yeah, I do. Um, so I'd love to know. You have to hop up to do that. <laughs> yes. Um, I'd love to know. I did. Why nobody have washed that? Syrup. Yeah. Oh, because because the party. The party. That's all you have to say is party. Everybody just goes ah, and then they just did, you should have saw. Out. It was chaos here. This on, bar on Saturday night. Yeah, but after the. Party. Yeah. This were, bar was. There were things I couldn't get off. Ridiculously gross. Like I, there was literally cups that just didn't. They were. I had to carefully take them because I don't want to break the stem off. Right. And like they were stuck to the bar, um, so that was interesting. Half so. Lemon. And look at that dilution. So, uh, 
yeah, so first off, what do you guys think of the release times? I do edit out a lot of stuff, like said, her whole soapbox that she might have done <laughs> that you might not see if you're watching the short form one will be included in the long form one, and then we'll start right with the ingredients. Because the goal for the short form is, hello, this is what we're doing, ingredients, this is some of our making of it, this is the build, this is what it tastes like. Sometimes I even cut out a lot of the making of it as a long thing. That way, I try and keep them under five minutes, maybe 502 at the most. Um, and if the video tends out to be five to six minutes, I'm not going to make a short one that's a minute long. I just release one. Then there's some housekeeping for you. Um, other than that, there's no good history behind this, except for stir. Do not shake. Shaking would be bad. You're going to need some ice Hopefully in that. Hopefully Oscar is still watching as a fan, even though we don't do Even though recipes. we just alienated him. You alienated him a long time ago. <laughs> Probably true. I got I got some bubbles trapped in this this ice. This is like some sort of cool prehistoric thing. Um, so another thing you want to be aware of is there's ice melt on here. You can see it dripping down. Um, if you add that into here, it's going to add dilution without chill. So what you really want to do is get off all the ice melt so that all the water's off. And when you put it in, the new melt is transferring cold into your drink. I'm learning stuff about ice. There's also a fact that I haven't seen, I haven't produced or, or tested yet, that if you stir this cocktail, it is possible to bring the cocktail below zero. Even if the ice isn't below zero and the cocktail ingredients aren't below zero, by stirring it, you can actually lower it below the zero. And uh, you can see more on that in Liquid Intelligence, the book, if you want to uh, really get into the science behind it all. You're not wondering if you added that or not? No. It's a pretty big drink. This is a big drink. I wonder how it's going to fit in here with all my awesome ice. I'm starting to think maybe I should have trimmed these down even a little more. I tried Ian's spin technique, but it's really challenging in a tall glass like this. When it's in a wide glass, that's one thing. Release times are fine. And uh, for those that are like, who is he talking to? Maybe those new people who haven't figured it out yet. There is a live stream that we typically do at 6.30 on Friday nights. Tonight it was 7. I had some issues, some shipping problems. Do some running. Here. I'm going to oh. do both ways. I'm going to do it like this. And then... You're going to do it the right way? I'm going to do it the right way. <laughs> so that is the way... A lot of bartenders have been trained is you use the reverse side of the spoon because it's faster. Is it faster? It is a little faster. I will admit. Well, there you Especially go. Especially with this big chunk of ice, it kind of gets caught in the spoon. And that's what the little plastic caps are often for, or the or the weight on the end, so that you can get it to spin around and not get stuck on anything, but still have some weight and resistance behind it, and it slides in the glass better. Uh, but it's, you, know, you do whatever makes you oh, comfortable. We need a julep Personally, if you're watching this show uh, and and you want to uh, you want to impress friends, doing stuff like that is pretty freaking amazing because you're gonna end up blowing people's minds. They're gonna be like, dude, you're totally using this wrong. And they're gonna think you're stupid. And then you can be like, no, using this, wrong. this is how you do it. And this is why. Oh, and this looks like- You're gonna let me pour this. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. And you're, you have tiny little girl hands. How do you <laughs> how do you do this? My wrist is a little broken, but we're good. We're good. Oh, wow. it's a big drink. It's got a lot more left. Right, I'm gonna go snap a picture of this big drink. Snap! Oh, snap! Um, that, my Shoot, friends. This is just a tad. No, that's not a tad. My tad is my tad is off. Boom! That is a beautiful little drink. That is the blood moon. There you have it. See what I did? I see what you did. I'm gonna put this in my mouth. All right. All right. <laughs> well, that's not sexual. <laughs> <coughs> Strong? Should be dry. It's very dry. No, it's not strong. Oh, it's flavorful. Gin and 
citrusy with a gin. I don't get the rum. The rum's lost in there to me. Yeah, because but the, it is a light rum with not a lot of taste. Yeah, not, you're not gonna get a whole ton of flavor out of this. I wonder if we should do that. It's, feedback, feed people. Should we do? Remember, we did the vodka. Can you tell the brands of vodka? I wonder if you could tell the brands of a light rum. But better than vodka. I would bet that. Yeah, I would bet that too. It has to be in a rum-based drink, though, like a daiquiri. Yeah. Um, we did that. We didn't deconstruct a daiquiri that way. We didn't do it blind. I don't know. I don't remember if we did that. Did we do that? I don't remember. It's a, it's really good. It's light. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. It is definitely dry. You have pomegranate juice, which is dry, combined with cranberry juice in our case, which is dry. Very floral, though. Yeah, the gin. That's the. This is our top ranking gin then, thus far. From blinds, that's that is the gin to have. Uh, that was the first one I could reach. I was actually considering using Old Tom, but I figured it would definitely change the drink. So yeah, no, this is I could drink this on the porch all day. Yeah, and you could drink that around a pool. It's I, light, it's refreshing. For some reason, I've been into drier drinks for that type of thing. Like, not not as a no. I'm not I like think a if super you dry. Added some mezcal to that, dry. that would work. Oh yeah, yeah. That would just be, you could just do, yeah, it would be like highball. You just get rid of this and add mezcal instead. Yeah. Um, well, it would, yeah, it's one one. Um, and they create a completely different drinking experience, I think. But, yeah. For some reason, that dry, acidic, like um, citrus flavor, lemonade, basically, a dry lemonade is, yeah. is f cool to drink. And maybe it's because I don't drink it as fat. I don't know, I drank that pretty quick. But, <laughs> I don't go through them as fast. It's I slow down as you, as it dries out your palate a little bit. Where sweeter things, I just suck them right up. Yeah. Um. And there's no carbonation, right? So no. The, but it's it's light. There's I mean there's ginger ale in there, so there's a tad bit, but it just enough to move around particles. But it's not like yeah. a it's not a, a carbonated. But I think that's drink. what makes it light. Just adding all these the the, the, the carbonation this. from this the ginger ale. This is gonna make it light. That's probably gonna make it a little light. Just easier to drink. Yeah. Question today: Do you prefer dry to undry drinks? Undry would be sweet, right? Or or brute, or, uh, brute, and then what is this? Uh, the semi dry. Undry is necessarily sweet. Undry. Well, what would it be then? If it's not well, well balanced, like just straight up. Just not dry. Flavor, <laughs> no like dry finish, no sweet. Yeah, I guess you could have an undry drink. What's your what's your what's your palate tell you? I don't usually care for dry drinks. This one's not bad. Sometimes cranberries. <clears throat> Not bad either, because I like cranberry juice. If it utilizes that in a cocktail. Yeah. I don't find that bad, but super dry. Like, you drink it and you're like... Vermouth. Yeah, and Try your mouth is all champagne. dry, even though you just drank something wet. Yeah. The difference is this dries it out, but it keeps that fruity floral. Flavor, yeah. So you're getting like a, that passion, or that, not passion, uh, pomegranate um, dryness, but the pomegranate flavor, almost like a berry... Uh, fruit and and then like that floral from the gin and for some reason I don't remember that gin being that floral but definitely seems to bring it brings components. it out with you so maybe even a floral juices. or gin like flora from uh, uh or G vine or G vine or green hook gin smiths yeah or, you know something like that could be cool I would go personally for me and I think it would work good in this drink is or well in this whatever uh, would be floral. Um, New England, not New England, but U.S. American gin versus a juniper forward oh, yeah, like a beef, beef eater. eater or tangerine or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, so, what is your palate telling you? Maybe it's different this year than last year. Mine changes Mine quite drastically. Changed. She's got more of a smoky thing going lately. Um, so, what is your this year, 2016? What is your palate telling you? Sweet, dry, smoky, spicy. Something completely different. Write it in the comments. I need more comments, people. All right. Oh. You want to pimp whatever it is? I do. <laughs> I'm pointing down there because my I really need to find a better place for that. Cocktail TV. It's called Facebook.com/slash Cocktail TV. That is our Facebook page. You can see Jennifer make the smoked Pim's cup in a exact one minute, minute video, <laughs> not 59 seconds. One minute. That's right. Exact one minute short form. Earlier video. this week, we did it in much longer than a minute. Yep. And so, if you want to be able to catch up on some of that, or when I slipped the time from six thirty for live stream to seven, I posted it out there in on my Snapchat. You should see my Snapchat because I got a big face that pops up every now and then. You could just literally use your thing and snap it, or you can also search for me on Snapchat. It's Cocktail TV. 
That's it, my friends. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. Give it some, give it a little rim job, if you will. Boom! Dump it in there. It is not, that's not a pretty drink, my friends. Not pretty. Although it does accent the, the shimmer.